Hi, Long Beach Unified students. I wanted to spend some time addressing you directly. I know that you now know that our governor of the state of California has made a decision. He's given an order to close schools for the remainder of the year. And when the governor makes a decision like that, we all have to respect and follow his decision. So I want you to know that in our school district, we are continuing to work really, really hard to think about what the remainder of the school year is going to look like for you as students. I want to tell you that your teachers and your principals and all of the staff that are working in the school buildings right now, serving meals, cleaning, doing all the things we always do to take care of school, we're really thinking about you and thinking about how we can offer you as much as possible and really wanting to recognize that we know that the experience that you had planned to have in the remainder of the school year is going to look very different. It already does. So with that, I wanted to talk with you about something because I know that when you hear or when you heard that schools are not going to reopen this year, you may have had a whole set of feelings. And some of you are feeling heartbroken about that decision. Some of you are really disappointed. Some of you are angry. I think some of you might be glad. There's a whole mix of emotions that you might be feeling. And in other conversations, we've talked about how everybody's feelings matter. Nobody's feelings are more important than the next person. Everybody's feelings are valid and your feelings are yours. But I wanted to bring something up with you that I'm going to talk a bit more about on Friday and it's about the cycle of grief. This cycle applies to when there's been a death, but it also applies to when there's been a really big change. And the cycle of grief goes like this. There's a set of five feelings that people usually feel. And the first is denial. There's no way this can possibly be happening. They cannot close schools, right? That's a feeling that some of you may have had. The next is anger about the decision and why does it have to be this way and I expected to have this experience. I was counting on a graduation ceremony. I was counting on the host of things that you look forward to as the year ends. Next comes bargaining and this is kind of the feeling that says I would give anything, I would do anything if only this thing I really counted on would not be different. After that is depression, and that's where sadness really sits in, and I think that's been happening for a lot of people even in the last week, about the real heaviness that you are feeling in your hearts and minds about such a different change in your routine and what it means for all of you who are having worries within your families of different kinds. And then lastly in this cycle is acceptance. And that's the point where we say, okay, this thing that I did not want, this thing that I did not choose, this thing that I would have given anything to avoid has happened, and I can work to accept it. The thing about this cycle of grief is that it's really a cycle. So those feelings I just described, those don't go in order. Sometimes you could have multiple of the feelings I just described in one hour. You could go from feeling accepting to feeling mad again to feeling really sad to feeling in denial all in one time. And so I'm going to be talking with you a bit more about that as we move forward in this time together. I want to talk to you about that as a way of showing you that we see you. We see that this is a really upsetting experience for you. We know that you're strong. We know that you're capable. And we know that you're going to be okay. But right now, sit with the feelings that you're having and know that we care for you and we are going to continue to be working really, really hard to help this experience be one that we look back on and say, you know, we didn't plan for that. We didn't want that, but we're okay because of that. Take care and I'll be talking with you again on Friday.